7.30 Monday morning. I hope your weekend was restful. I hope your week is restful. They too are, a couple of them are, are gardening. <laughs> so if you have the time to get out and plant something, even if it's in a, a planter box, it's good to see things grow. It's a reminder that there is life everywhere. Uh, today, a number of people I'm aware of, including me, are going to have uh, different surgeries and tests and so forth. So I pray for their well being. And I pray also for. Uh, for your needs, especially intentions of all your families. Many of us uh, have graduates in our families, some graduating high school and graduating college. Even. And of course, our little guys are all moving up our grade. Uh, we pray for all the graduates, uh, particularly since they cannot do the celebrations they have before. Uh, perhaps one day they will. Uh, we did notice one school that did a wonderful job. They had the parents drive up with the child and one at a time they drove, they, they walked up to the principal and received their diplomas. <clears throat> that took a lot of, uh, a lot of planning on their part, I guess. Uh, I think it may have taken two days to do it. Here. And so as we enter this week, let's begin our, our day with, uh, with morning prayer. And uh, to be aware that we are always in the presence of God. Lord, open my lips and my mouth for perfect your praise. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and give sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea that belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship. Bend the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people, the flock of His shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured their generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Psalm 42. Long for the Lord's presence. As the dear longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, my God. Hallelujah. All who thirst, come. Let all who desire it drink from life giving water. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread, by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why you cast down my soul, why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still my Savior, and my God. My soul is cast out within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizon, deep is calling on deep. In the roar of the waters, your torrents and your waves swept over me. 
By day the Lord will send with loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise him still. My Savior and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, why are you cast down my soul? So now that the surging waves of your indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer from running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. As the deer longs for running streams, so my soul longs for you, my God. Hallelujah. Fill sign with your praises, Lord, and let your wonders be proclaimed. Hallelujah. This is the canticle from Syrac. It's a prayer for a treaty for the holy city of Jerusalem. The holy city in our, in our scriptures is always a rebuilding of the kingdom on earth. This is the eternal life to know you, Lord, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name. Israel, who you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Go Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Go Zion with your praises, Lord. Let your wonder be proclaimed. Hallelujah. the city, the Lamb of God is its light. Hallelujah. The dawn from an eye shall break upon us to guide our feet into the way of peace. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, but night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. At the farthest end of the sky it is caught. There is nothing concealed by a prophet's burning heat. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the past, beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent us your word as the sun of truth and justice, shining upon humanity. It is our hearts and our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. The glory of God illumines the city. The Lamb of God is its light. Hallelujah. A reading from Romans. The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. For if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Faith in the heart leads to justification, confession in the lips to salvation. 
first, beginning with the Gospel of John. It says, in the beginning with the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So whenever any of us share the Word, we're sharing God, we're sharing the Word of God. Our response, sorry, the Lord is risen from the truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is risen from the truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He hung upon the cross for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our gospel canticle. By raising Jesus Christ from the dead, dead, God has given us a new birth, a living hope in the promise of an inheritance that will last forever. Hallelujah. Our canticle from Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from an eye shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. By raising Jesus Christ from the dead, God has given us a new birth through a living hope and promise of an inheritance that will last forever. Hallelujah. Our prayers of intercession. God the Father was glorified in the death and resurrection of his Son. Let us pray to him with confidence, saying, Lord, enlighten our minds. Father of lights, you bathe the world in splendor when Christ rose again in glory. Fill our minds with the light of faith. Lord, enlighten our minds. Through the resurrection of your Son, you opened for us the way to eternal life. As we work today, sustain us with the hope of glory. Lord, enlighten our minds. Through your risen Son, you sent the Holy Spirit into the world to set our hearts on fire with spiritual love. Lord, enlighten our minds. May Jesus Christ, who is crucified, to set us free, be today our salvation and redemption. Lord, enlighten our minds. And for all our graduates from college and high school, from whatever school and classes you may be graduating and moving on, congratulations to each one of you. May your, your lives be filled with promise. And may you strive to achieve that promise, no matter what it takes. Lord, enlighten our minds. And together, let us play in the words that are said in the Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, may our celebration of your son's resurrection help us to experience its effect in our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you at the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reminder: uh, A week from today is Memorial Day, and uh, one of our Episcopal vicars, uh, Father Romy Slixion, uh, he'll be celebrating Memorial Mass in St. Paul the Apostle, the special Memorial Day Mass. It'll be at 9 a.m. and it'll be on YouTube, not YouTube, no, YouTube. <laughs> the 
So you just check into the diocese of website and click on it. And uh, I noticed Father Duong shared mass with the bishop yesterday with many other folks. It was more than 800 uh, logged in. And obviously there's more than one person in many of those uh, logged in. So well over a thousand people at mass on Sunday and masses throughout our diocese. And so we are adapting. We're finding new ways to bring meaning to celebrate our faith and to share it and new ways to communicate. And so may God bless you this, this week. Whatever interactions you have, maybe they be in a source of, of hope and of love. And please take care of yourself. There are many who want to disregard all the, all the protocols. Let us not do that. Let us not be a source of problems, of a new wave, as they say, of this virus. So my mighty God bless you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.